Hermione and today's video is going to be a DIY room decor video with a twist. About this time last year I think I was doing some Poundland DIYs. If you don't live in the UK, Poundland is like a dollar store basically and it's everything is one pound which is the equivalent of like a dollar fifty, something like that. I'm just reiterating because a lot of you guys seem to come from the USA and yeah I'm so jealous because your dollar stores are so much better. I kind of just go in and I pick things I'm like I could do something with that, I could do something with that with kind of no idea of what I'm gonna do and I was kind of getting a little stressed out because I wanted to make something more intricate and more exciting but everything's a pound so nothing is big and nothing is delicate and everything's kind of a little bit crappy but that's kind of the idea. These are gonna be pretty simple DIYs so they're easy to make and that's because like I said everything is very cheap and there's not much to choose from so I'm gonna go with some simple ideas for organization and room decor that I think you guys will like. I've done a lot of talking so just quickly if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button you can see my videos every time they come out and don't forget to like this video if you haven't already because it makes me very happy and I know that you guys like these videos if you like them and my social media will all be linked down below so let's get into this video. I found this glass cutting board in Poundland and although I hate the design, I knew I could do something with it. So I started by peeling the backing off the back and this actually had to be done under hot water because it would not come off. Once that was completely off, all I did was cut some scrapbook paper to size and glue it down. This is really nice on a cabinet or a bedside table to protect your surfaces from drinks that are spilling or candle wax or anything like that. Plus it's really nice and decorative and you can put your own spin on it. The garden section is the best section in Poundland. You can find some really cool stuff in there in the summer and I found this plant stand in there and I decided I could make something with it. And this one is obviously very simple because all I'm doing is spray painting it white. But then I used it as a shelf on my bedside table and I think it worked really well. And I think this can maximize your space and give you some organizational decor that you can use in your room. The fun thing about going to Poundland or the dollar store to pick up stuff for DIYs is that I never know what I'm going to find and I never know what I'm going to make. And they're all really easy because they're cheap supplies, none of them are extreme, but it's really fun to improvise and see what you can make with what you can find. I've wanted to make a piece of wall decor shaped like the moon for a really long time and when I saw these cake boards for one pound I thought they would be perfect seeing as they are already similar. I took a kitchen sponge and cut it up and all I'm doing here is adding some acrylic paint in a dabbing motion all around the cake board. I used a reference picture to look at and I went darker in some areas and lighter in other areas and I tried to make the shapes kind of circular so it looked like holes on the moon. Um, it kind of looks like the moon but I think you guys will do a much better job than me because I'm not a very patient person. One tip I have to create that depth and texture is to make sure that you use both sides of the sponge. Using the scratchy side and the smooth side will give you some really nice texture for your wall art piece. And finally from the gardening section again I picked up this chicken wire to put on my wall as a kind of Urban Outfitters inspired wall decoration to put my pictures on. So all I did was cut this with some gardening shears. Please be careful with these and get someone to do it for you if you are young and if you are old like me <laughs> then use some gloves as well because it can be quite spiky. Once you've cut it to your size flatten it out as much as possible. This was quite difficult because it came in a roll so it was a little bumpy but then just nail it to your wall or use some push pins. If your walls are thick you can add it to some cork board instead. I think that would look really cool too. That is everything I have for today, all of these one pound DIYs. I hope you guys like them. I'm actually going to America pretty soon, so let me know if you would like me to bring back some dollar store things and then I can do a dollar store version because like I said, I know a lot of you guys come from America, so that might be kind of fun and I think it would be pretty cool to see the differences in the Poundland and the dollar store because America's is so much better, so annoying. 
and it's cheaper because of the exchange rate, so you Anyway, let me know if you would like me to do that, and also if you haven't already, give this video a like and check out my social media below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!